Hello there and welcome back to Furry Me Review. I'm your host, the bear who just had a very fresh haircut. Let's get to it. So, I heard you like bad boys. I don't mean to brag or anything. Cause I'm bad at everything. Would you please love me? <laughs> uh, I'm bad at everything too. I'm bad at math. I'm bad at hand-eye coordination when it comes to sports. Why am I still single? Can you... <laughs> Can, like, a very single person out there who has very low standards, please take me as your boyfriend? Please? <laughs> I'm so lonely. Uh, can I ask about the menu, please? The menu, please, are none of your business. That's right. That is very so right. But he's not asking for the men that you suck, di suck dick for at the at an occasion, no. I don't know what accent that was, but that's not what they're asking for. They're asking for the food. I mean, I would not doubt you if you say that, you, that the menu, please, are absolute snacks. But give him the menu. He's just hungry. He's a hungry boy. Give him the menu. Are you okay, son? Now, why does this cartoon dog family make me feel so emotional? Ah, Bluey. Ah, uh, what a show. God damn it. There was this one episode here... Uh, I can't remember the, the name of the episode, but it involved uh, Chili's sister not being able to have kids on her own, of her own, and to me, that just struck me on an emotional level. As, uh, and it's, it's weird, as someone who doesn't, who doesn't want children himself, um, I just find that sad, you know? I think that, that, that is what makes this show brilliant. I love it. Mmm feel the smell of a very musky bear. Papa R's hot sauce pecan sweet Thai chili. I mean, I would buy this because of the illustration alone because god damn it, Papa R's looks uh, <laughs> very, very hot. Mm, that's just not a pun because it's a, it's a brand of, I would assume hot sauce, it just says it there, but if I were to shove this up my ass, it would be quite a scorching experience. Yes. <laughs> you don't think you're alone, do you? What in the what? What in the Mandela catalog bullshit is this? This is this the height of the you like kissing boys, don't you? Is this the height of it now? Uh, to the point that uh, the cuteness is gone. We just evolved into. Just analog horror, is that it? Furries, picking Team Werewolf. My Hot Topic ass choosing Team Vampire. I mean, it's either choose the ones that will tear you apart or choose the one that will nibble you sensually and suck the living lifeblood out of you. Mm. And personally, um, I would choose the vampire because I have made a video essay about dating and procreating well attempting to procreate with werewolves so yeah maybe we maybe think about this for a minute furry roleplay character.ai you buy a house to live in and the next day when you go to it you discover that it is in a city you've never heard of however ignoring that fact you arrive at your new house it is like any house but far from your old one a little while later you hear someone knocking on the door will you open the door it depends if I can get a bit serious here, okay? If you are expecting guests over, you know, you've talked to someone you know, your family, your friends, you want to invite them to your new house, yeah, then maybe, you know, you can open the door, you know? But if you're not expecting anyone, it's a new city, okay? You you just moved in there, you don't know the area, and someone knocks on your door, and you're not expecting anyone, do not open the door, okay? If I can be a little bit serious here, if you're in a new t in a new town, you don't know anyone, and someone knocks on your door, make sure who uh, make sure you know this person first before open the door. Okay, be safe. First time topless at the beach. I almost can't believe it. I'm about to have a panic attack and screw it. This feels so good. You look awesome, and you are doing great. I I I wish I have I have this confidence. I wish I have this kind of confidence when I go down to a beach and I can just go shirtless. But even and even though if I do have the the kind of, this kind of confidence, I can't really uh, I can't really uh, just go around topless in a beach because the sun will pretty much punish me. I don't tan very well. 
If anything, I will catch more melanoma cells than actually getting a tan. Ha! Those jerks that call me gay or want to bully me if they think I'm a girl. This plan is foolproof. Later that day. Uh, hi. Uh, I would. I want to like, give you this uh, letter of love uh, I made for you. I hope you like it. Oh, uh, th th thank you. It, it is foolproof, but is it horny proof? Okay, you are dressing up as a cute little schoolgirl in uh, what I would only assume uh, uh, a high school setting filled with very cute wolf boys with raging hormones. Would it be such a surprise if one of them were to find you cute and they would ask you out on a date? Hmm? Oz? What are you doing there? Ozzy! You can't bite that bat! Relax, it's just a toy. Oh, thank goodness, because the last the last person who bit a bat, it caused the world to be plunged into a two-year pandemic. So we don't want that to repeat again. Hmm? No one wants that. Nobody wants that at all. Two types. You know, no girl is gonna like you if you dress like that. <gasps> oh my god, I promise. <laughs> uh, you have a girlfriend, wife, um... I'm gay. You don't look gay. <laughs> Homosexual confusion? Hmm? <laughs> Here's a little PSA for all of you straight people out there. Um, not all gay people are flamboyant. The same way that I can say that not all lesbians look butch. Alright? There are gay people who are like me. I mean, technically I am bisexual, but, you know, <laughs> still part of the same kind of mafia gang. But, not all gay people are, you know, flamboyant. They don't have the the effemacy that uh, are kind of stereotypically associated with gay people. Some of them are bears, like me. You know, some of them look manly. Bottom line is, you gotta get rid of these stereotypes because you're just gonna end up looking like a fool. Oh my god, a collection of Disney princesses. Oh no. Am I a joke to you? Yes! Yes! Wanna know why? Because you're not a princess! You are a maid! It is in your goddamn name! Maid Marion! You're not a princess, you're a maid! You know what? You are a maid who married a person who has tons of felonies! You are married to a kleptomaniac with higher moral standards, okay? You are not a princess, you are a maid! Your job is to clean up crap and play badminton, that's it! Jesus Christ! So let me get this straight. You're meant to scare people, right? SCP-1471 If my knowledge of SCP-1471 is anything to go by, um, the function of SCP Mallow, uh, the official name of this SCP, is that SCP Mallow isn't actually meant to scare a person, but it's also not meant to be mentally good for the person who activated it, who installed the app that uh, SCP Mallow came from. But I do know for a fact that some people have uh, successfully bonded with the creature that is Mallow. You know, the way they interpret it is that this creature is, you know, they're not, they're not, they're not harmful. They're not trying to hurt them. They're just creepy, you know, they, they, they dash around in the, in the peripherals of your vision. But as far as I know, these creatures are just very shy creatures who just want to be your friend. And I think that's wholesome, you know. And that, my friends, is where I will leave, the, leave you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm so sorry for the two-day uh, hiatus there. Uh... There's, there was just a lot of things going on, a lot of real, th real life things going on in my life right now, and I need to like prioritize that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and this has been your fairly generous Cookbox88 signing off. Stay foxy, much love.